So we've got a large work of art here, a large work of art on paper, uh, te technically known as a cartoon in history of art terms, artist art terms, which comes from the Italian um, word cartone for large piece of uh, the largest piece of paper that was available to artists like Raphael and Leonardo at the time for their cartoons. So this, this work of art on paper is, is known technically as a, a large drawing, design or, or cartoon, whichever you like. Um, so it's over 120 years old and we don't believe, we're pretty sure it hasn't been cleaned in 120 years. So what's happened is it's suffered um, quite a few layers of dirt, dust and grime, and I even think soot at some stage, as well as some abrasion of media from the other drawings piled one on top of another. So if you see down at the bottom there, you can see a line at the bottom of the design where you've got cleaning, where cleaned or conserved on the right hand side and then before conservation here you can see where the surface dirt still sits. So I'm just very slowly, very patiently and carefully, and I'm, I'm used to this, this is what I do, I'd be quite, someone else would see it as painstaking, but it, it really doesn't feel painstaking, it's quite relaxing and quite nice just to be here and with, with the artwork and I just very gently in circular motions using this Mars plastic eraser which is used in conservation and very gently lift off the surface dirt and, and get down to the, the paper so it's much cleaner which is good for the, the artwork. So that's the conservation technique, it's known as dry cleaning, we call it dry cleaning. And then after the dry cleaning, I'm going to do a very light, gentle uh, textile swab, which I'll very carefully go over the paper surface with a damp cotton wool and it just lifts off um, any residue of dirt or, or dust or soot. And it also relaxes the paper. So it's a really nice finishing off treatment that's very innocuous to the paper. Um, and then once all that's done, um, I then turn over the design and I clean the surface dirt, the, the top layer of surface dirt from the Versa because obviously we've got to keep the whole object as clean as possible. And then I'll carry out the repairs. I think I showed you earlier, Megan, there's a big, big tear, quite a substantial tear here. So then I'll repair that with um, Japanese lens tissue and my adhesive, which I make wheat starch paste. So, so we'll get to work on those and just make it supported all the way around. There's another one here. And this is probably, these, these are probably very old. These would have been spilt or dropped in the working process, although it would, may not have been Bede's artistic intention at the time why he's drawing or creating this stunning image. These, these would have been dropped in his studio. So it's sort of, um, creates a, a feeling of the, 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 the energy that the artist had in the studio at the time where there's a lot going on, there's a lot of energy that he's putting out in this work and there's um, a lot going on with paints and colours as well all around him. So we can, we can sort of get that feeling and really get close to that um, element. And I think that's what's one of the key things really of, of having these artworks is to um, feel that uh, the artistic uh, presence of Baudet and, and appreciate his work. So, so they are very, so that is important to note that they are very much a working drawing, although they, they're so well, so well drawn and so well made, they do look like finished artworks or they could be finished artworks. Um, the only thing that would uh, draw your eye away from that are the annotations around here. And as you saw yourself, very observant, Megan, you saw these floating little designs here, which he would have made 
I believe, for the window designer. I hope they will be struck, actually stunned. I mean, you when you first see them, your, your, your breath's taken away, really. They are very, very stunning. Um, and if you are, um, you know, I'm sure if you're deeply religious, they will be very, very moving to people that are very religious because they're moving to people that are of general faiths in, in any respect. They're very, very good, good, very, very brilliant works of art. Yeah. And I can say that with some qualification. I'm, I'm also a postgraduate of the Courtauld Institute of Art, one of the best um, art history schools internationally, one of the top three when I was there internationally. And um, so I am qualified to talk about the history of art too. So I say this um, with experience and qualification, they are very, very fine works of art. And I feel quite, I feel quite overwhelmed actually sometimes when I'm working on them and speaking about them. They're very, 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 very uh, precious, aren't they? Yeah.